Okay, that felt good. That felt good. Yep, it's dead on four inches. We're ice fishing, central Iowa. Freaking ice is here. Dude, I am freaking stoked. The first couple whacks, I was kind of scared. I got through with two hits, but I just drove the hole and it is exactly four inches. Oh my gosh. Well, welcome back to another episode of the US of Angling, where I travel around the US in a travel trailer with my wife, JC, and I fish everywhere I go. I am freaking ecstatic. The fishing around central Iowa has been almost impossible. Probably not impossible, but it's felt impossible. I've been getting my butt kicked, waiting for ice, and it's freaking finally here. We've got a huge storm rolling through tomorrow. Hopefully you guys are watching this during that storm. Plan on posting this tomorrow, day of the storm. But we're on this pond doing a quick equipment check before we go on any big ice adventures. This pond in the past has been absolutely incredible. I've made, I think just one video of it before, but the plan today is to catch a bunch of monster gills, cook them up, and there's a couple fish that we want to check on. Wade and I have done a little experiment here. I'm not going to ruin it too much. If you've seen my previous video, you might know what I'm talking about. If not, there's one type of fish in here that we're really hoping to catch. Let's go catch something. Holy crap. We're definitely on top of that tree, but I'm seeing two fish. Yeah. Christmas tree, fish swimming across the top. We're gonna be freaking on them. I am so stoked right now. I have never cooked fish on the ice. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I never have. And that's gonna change today. I need to find where I'm gonna put my camera and where Wade hid the waxies and we're gonna start catching some fish. On a scale of one to 10, I'm like a 25-ish yeah. on excitement. All right, I gotta experiment with camera angles. You guys are gonna hang out right there for a while while I catch some freaking fish. And then after I catch a couple, I'll figure out if I'm gonna put it on my chest, my hat. I don't know. I just have to land my first fish of the ice fishing season. I've been home for a full month just waiting, waiting, oh, waiting for ice. And we finally got it. Oh, oh, oh. Is this one gonna do it? Is this one gonna do it? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna get smashed. He just flew up to me. First fish of the ice fishing season. A little bluegill. Oh, first one. Yeah. First fish of the ice fishing season. It is a dinker bluegill, but it's a fish nonetheless. If you can't tell by the smile on my face, I've been waiting I think exactly 11 months for this exact day. Oh my goodness. Love it. Nice job. He was a dinker though. I mean, we'll keep, you know, the first eight nice gills that we catch, but he was a little dinker. Nice work. We got a big one. That looks like a bigger mark right here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked. Hey, one coming up. Got him. He Thanks attacked me. And a little bit bigger. I mean, we could eat that. I'm just so happy to be catching fish. <laughs> Our standards are higher than that today. He's going back too. All right, guys, we've moved three times now. I don't know if I like that camera where it's at. I might have to fix that, but the fish are freaking loaded down there. I came over here for a just to check the holes out. I had one nice fish on. There's too much ice in the hole. All I could see was color, but it was a crappie or a bass, one of the two. Oh, definitely bigger than the gills we've been catching. So we're in 17 foot of water, about 50 feet away from the Christmas tree. I just think that Christmas tree was just holding small fish for whatever reason. Small update for you guys. It is 106 and Wade just caught the first freaking eater uh yeah that works that works finally we have one fish on the ice 
I'd say what we've caught. That's probably the eighth fish we've caught. Been out here for three hours. We've marked 12 million fish on our pan optics. They just have lockjaw. We just caught two dinks Brilliant. and that keeper in the last five minutes. Hopefully, we paid our dues with the ice fishing gods and they freaking turned the fish on because it's been brutal watching so many fish swim under the hole. As long if I can get five bluegills. I'm going to start the pan, start the frying pan, and we're going to eat them up. I think eight would be perfect. Probably four pe or four fish each, For like sure. eight pieces. I mean, I don't know. Probably no more than ten. We have a long ways to go, though. We've been out here for three hours, and we have one keeper bluegill. But usually this place is a lot better. Fingers crossed that they turn on right now. Oh, here time, we so. go. Here we go. We each have a fish on us. Oh, that's going to bite. That's going to bite. He just shot over to me. Got him. Nice. All right. Are they going to turn on for us? I think they are, except that sucks that this is a freaking dink. Dude, I'm keeping it. We're eating fish. That's a small fish, but I'll freaking fillet it. I don't give a crap. It tastes amazing, I'm sure. Oh, goodness. I'm not showing you guys that one. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I just don't care. I'm hungry. Here comes three fish. Come on. I immediately, I think they're turning on. That's another keeper. Yep. Yes. We get doubles here. Yes, Wade. All right. Let's see if we can double up. There are some seriously big fish in here. These are not it. But that is a keeper bluegill, for sure. Definitely big enough. Oh gosh, finally. Finally, finally, they might be turning on. Yes. A little small. No, that's a keeper. We're gonna eat fish. Man, morale was getting low there for a little while. We're both ecstatic to be out on the ice, but just sucks when you see so many fish on the screen and they don't bite. This is fantastic. Four fish now. We're gonna have enough for freaking lunch. And it's not even that late after lunch. Dude, I mean, we went so long without catching anything that this is a huge swing of events. I'm gonna need some fish. Same, dude. That. Same. We're, we don't need that many more, and I can start. I can start whipping them up. Okay. Come on, be decent. This is a little better. Oh. No. Not better, but. That's why I'm big there. Yeah. Um, your call. I'll, I don't care what I clean. I'm hungry. With that being said. Don't judge us. These are. Well, actually, I don't have to show you guys. Survival. That was a monster. That was a really nice Survival one. He just threw on the ice. Man. Yep. We'll just throw them in a pile, and then I'll show them after a while, and just like the small ones will be yours, the big ones will be mine, okay? Sure thing. <laughs> sounds about, sounds about far. <laughs> Come on, baby. That looks nice. Eat it. Got him. Nice. I was going to say, I thought he smoked it, but I didn't want to say anything. I had to make sure he was holding. Oh, yeah. That's a nice That's a freaking better. gill, dude. That's, That's a, a nice better. gill. Heck, yeah. We're on them. We're freaking on them. So it's like there's less fish on the screen, but they're more active now, which I am very, very cool with. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Why haven't you eaten it yet? Oh, I barely just raised on him and he left. Got him. Got him? I I'm about to get hit right now, too. Crappie. Crappie? A tiny one. A freaking crappie! You know what that means? That is... Oh, gosh. I wasn't even looking. I felt him hit. Um, That's a, re that's a reproduced crappie. I don't know if that is or not. Look how small he is. There ain't no way I put that in there. You think? Absolutely. That's a two-year-old crappie. 
going? Dude, I think you're probably right. I think it's probably I didn't expect him to be this big, but you're probably right. This right here is a crappie from crappies we put in from a lake that got drained. When was that? Four years ago now? Three, years ago. Three or four years ago. And they were all over 10 inches. This crappie is probably six and a half or seven inches. That means, how many did we put in? 39 from one lake. 139 and, total. Yeah, almost a hundred, uh, right around 100 from one lake. 39 nice crappies from another lake. And this is the first time we've caught a smaller crappie than we put in here, which means they're reproducing. That means that the crappies we put in here, all it took was 139 crappies to reproduce. And now this pond has crappies. It had none before. That is That's solid, bro. freaking awesome. That's awesome. We got six fish. If we catch one more, I'll start cooking and then hopefully you can catch one more as I'm flaying them. Yes. And then we'll have eight and that'll be great. Oh yeah. Nice kill. Nice eater. Yep. All right. Does that do it? I think it does it. I think I'm gonna start cleaning these things. We got seven bluegills. We're hoping for eight, but I have faith in Wade that he can catch one more while I start flaying these things up. So I thought it was gonna be like shooting fish in a barrel, like it usually is at this pond. But these right here are good keepers for today. But usually these are the small ones by like a lot. They got a lot taller than this or wider, you know, like this. They get like freaking softballs. And these are definitely due for today, but it's a little concerning. I mean, this summer they were big in here. Yeah. I think it's just an off day. That storm it's that's coming day. tomorrow might just be screwing everything up. It's the fish next to my left foot. I guess it'd be your guys' right. Looks small, it's just the camera angle. It's a really nice one. Or we're super desperate and hungry and we want to eat bluegills. One of the two, but I think it's the camera angle. That's a nice little mess. I mean, I still gotta take them ribs out and scales off to check it out. That looks like lunch, doesn't yeah, it? That'll work for sure. Oh my goodness, you got fish yeah, all I know, I'm over. Just want to catch one more before you put the cutting board away. Come on, you can do it. There's one up top. Looks like a nice one. Got him. Yes! This one feels better. Yep. Yes! Another keeper! You did it! All right! <laughs> nice work, dude. Nice work. That is eight. Got him. <laughs> Just left and right, huh? Yeah, I freaking love it. Ooh, that's a nice gill. Yeah, that's a nice one there. Oh, for sure. That's a fatty. Should I fly? Yeah, I got to fly him yeah. up, too. Have to. Nice one. Yeah, I got another one down there. Do it. My hands are freaking freezing. Yeah. Woo! Appreciate you doing that. Yeah. Well, I need two rinses. I'm just doing the first one. Right on. <laughs> Do the other one. On. <laughs> oh, I'll stand up and show you guys. Oh, using my number one favorite. Oh, you can't see that very well, huh? Favorite fish batter, Louisiana Cajun. Can you guys even see me? Louisiana Cajun. My absolute freaking favorite. It's the spiciest Cajun out of all the different brands I've tried. So that's what we're going with today. Woohoo! That was almost a disaster. That's what we're going with today. If I cannot squish all the fish by stepping on them. <laughs> Louisiana Cajun. I'm just gonna put a bunch in here. Okay. What's your favorite thing to use to fry them in? I use butter flavored Crisco. 
That works great. I mean, I've used vegetable oil. I've used whatever. I know peanut oil is usually up there amongst the top, but butter flavored Crisco. I, I think a lot of people it. use canola oil. Canola? Yeah. I think one bar, that should be perfect. Gillies are going on. I'm super excited. I'm stoked. I am freaking stoked. Oh no, you guys might not be able to see this. Can you see that? There we go. I wonder if I'm missing anything. Just as far as like anything that would make this easier. Do you guys have any recommendations on anything that I need to cook fish? I mean, this is working great, but I'm all about little gadgets and stuff. I mean, what, I could have like a tong holder, maybe. That could work. Yes. Yeah, they're done too. I'm gonna freaking scald our mouth. Match Jeez. number one. Uh, they got the job. No way. Yeah. I just missed a phone call from HR. I gotta call him. No way! Yep. Dude! So I got a job. Freaking nice work. That's freaking sweet. It's too early. <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> no, no, yeah. You needed Wait two weeks. <laughs> when would you like your start date to be? March 1st? <laughs> These puppies are done. Awesome. It's like a celebratory dinner. Dude, it's absolutely perfect. I made it just for the occasion. All right, we have, um, it's between lunch and dinner, it's 3.30, so we're probably going to start losing light pretty fast. These are probably still on fire, but I'm going to go for it, let's see. Yeah, they're hot, but it's worth it, man. Yep, oh gosh. Once you burn your, to roof of your mouth, you, you, you know. <laughs> oh my. I mean... It's pretty much a given. I've eaten bluegills a hundred million times, but this is the very first time I've ever done it out here on the ice. I expected it to be a little bit easier. I thought we were going to come out and slam eight and a half, nine inch bluegills all day. That was not the case. The storm probably has something to do with it that's on its way in. Dude, these are spicy too. I'm loving this. Are they not? Like, it's absolutely amazing. Louisiana Cajun. If you like spicy fish, Louisiana Cajun is the way to go. It's the only fish batter that I feel like I don't have to add anything to it to make it spicy. You don't need sauce. You don't need nothing. No. Like, it's it's perfect. It, feels, it tastes like it was caught an hour ago. No joke. It doesn't get much more fresh than this. Today is definitely the first day that has safe ice here in Iowa. We got a huge storm coming through. Then Christmas. Right after Christmas, I will be fishing every single day until JC finally drags me out of Iowa to go south because she's not a big fan of the cold. Boo! I know, right? I'm gonna do my absolute best to stay here as long as possible, but I feel like a week or two into January and I'll be lucky to, to get that. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the break. Fishing has just been absolutely brutal around here, but sounds like ice fishing has finally actually kicked off for the 2022 23 2022 too fast dude i have five pieces six I, pieces like, absolutely left absolutely destroyed this like oh my gosh well it's safe to say wade liked it it's definitely safe to say i did too thanks again stay tuned if you're not subscribed to see plenty more ice fishing videos in the next couple weeks and then a bunch of videos somewhere where it's warm we haven't decided where we're going yet Thanks again, guys. Get out there and catch something.